Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this part, we'll take up one more interaction between two species and here both the species get harmed and this interaction is known as competition. Now normally whenever we talk of competition, we assume that it is always between the members of the same species for a common resource. But competitions can be between the members of same species, similar species, or even different species and it is normally for a common resource and in case of all these animals that we talk of the common resource is the food. Let us take few important examples in South America flamingos compete with the resident or the local fishes for the common food and that common food is zooplankton. So zooplanktons which are present in water they are the food for the fishes which live in those water bodies as well as the birds which come there, the migratory birds which come there. So both are uh, targeting the same food item. So resource is same but they belong to different species. So here the competition is between different species. One more example in Galapagos Islands, Abingdon tortoises they came almost close to extinction after after goats were introduced on galapagos islands these uh, tortoises live they still live but when the goats were introduced the number of these tortoises it suddenly declined and the number came so low that it was almost near extinction. Now the reason is not only the same resource or the limited resource. In this case the resource is limited here the resource is plenty but one of the competitor is more active as compared to the other one. Goats they are fast grazing animals they would eat the grass quickly and the tortoises are slow animals so they would not be able to eat that much and before that the goats would consume most of the grass. So here it was the speed of the goats which was responsible for decline in the number of tortoises. So it can be the resource limited resource it can be plenty of resource but the efficiency of one of the competitor. Now here we will talk about one principle which is called Gauss principle of competitive extinction or elimination. According to this principle, no two species which are competing for the same resource can live in the same habitat for long. So if we have to write this, no two species closely related competing for 
same resource can inhibit together for long. One will be eliminated and the one which is eliminated is the less efficient. So the more efficient competitor will survive or will be responsible for the elimination of the less efficient. So more efficient will eliminate the less efficient species. This is called Gauss principle of elimination, competitive elimination or competitive extinction. So in one particular area, in one particular habitat, if there are two species uh, or closely related or distinctly related, totally different from each other, they cannot inhabit the same area if they are competing for the same resource for a very long period of time. The more efficient one will eliminate the less efficient one. So it is only one species which is going to survive. Uh, keeping the same thing, there was one more scientist, Mac Arthur, showed one example where there are five closely related species of warblers. These are small birds and they live in the same habitat. They are very closely related, very close species of these birds. They live in the same area and how are they able to manage to live in the same area is they have different food habits. So now if a tree is the place where all these five varieties of warblers are living, these different varieties are going to feed on different things. One variety is going to feed on only on the flower or the pollen or nectar. The other variety is going to feed on only the fruit part. The third variety feeds on only the insects which live on that tree. So they have different food uh, habits or their food resources are different. And that is why these similar species are able to live in the same area. So there is always a competition and competition is normally for the same resource and both the species get harmed in this case because competition always results into loss for both the species. So this is one more type of interaction. Now in the next part we will take up few more.